Hi guys, back smash fishing. Gonna do a small tutorial on the flapper rig. I use it mainly with uh, ragworms, squid baits, all for the smaller species such as bream, dogfish you'll get a lot of. And you can even get gilt heads and stuff that I've had in the past on these. So stay tuned, it's smash fishing. Tackle you need for this guys, is two freeway swivels and a clip. This style clip, I don't know if you can see that very well. And then two size two hooks or one hooks. I use size one a lot for the flatties and smaller species. I use size two o for stuff like bass and gilt head bream. And that's what I'm making this rig up for today. So what we need for the rig body to start off with is in between 50 and 80 pound line I use. This is only my personal way of doing things, but this has been very productive in the past for me. And what you do is you tie your first freeway on. Any sort of knot will do. I use tuck blood knots. You could use a uni knot if you like. Get some saliva on the knot so it don't so it doesn't fray. The heat causes friction. That's it, that's the first one. And then what I like to do is just an arm length. I don't know if you can see that from my hand to my shoulder. And then snip it off. Hell yeah. And then what you do is, next freeway, straight arm. It's a very simple rig this, and you're chucking out two baits at the same time, so good chance at any sort of fish. You can vary the baits up. Get that tag end off. Just like so. So that's basically your rig body. So two freeways, length of my arm. Now the clip, this is for your weight and that goes the, on the bottom loop of the freeway. There we go, just like so. So you can see the swivel where your trace is going to go. Hell yeah guys. And now all we got to do is get some traces on. So you can see they're just like little snoods that will come off come off the side. They've got plenty of room for wiggling so they don't tangle very much. And what I like to use for it is 20 pound clear mono. You can't go wrong. Get that tied on. You could make these place rigs as well. You could put a lot of beads on the trace. There we go. Get that tied off. And then for the trace, I only make it about halfway between your rig body. You can make it longer, they don't tangle much, but it's always best to try and make it so they don't touch the two hooks. Get that tied off. Just like so. There we go, that's the first snood. Well, trace, shall I say. And that'll be on the bottom hook. And as you can see, the hook will lie flat on the seabed. Get that tag end snipped off. There we go. And as you can see, the first, the bottom hook will lay flat on the seabed. And now for the top hook. This is a great rig for beginners, throwing it out onto sand. Very good, you can catch anything on these rigs. Bit of saliva. There we go and the top hook. Just bring it almost halfway again, maybe a bit shorter. And you'll always find you get a lot of bream on the top hook. Get that tied off. There we go. You can choose any knot you like. Any will do, as long as it doesn't slip. There we go, tie it off. There you go guys. That's my flapper rig. And as you can see, it's very simple. If you want to put beads on the bottom one, you can, just in case there's a place lurking around. I'll just get a weight on it, to give you a better idea. Good old homemade leads. 
So there you go. That's the style of it guys. As you can see the bottom hook's down there. Weight. And the top, top hook would be right at the top. About a foot off the seabed. Once your, your lines will cast it out. And you've got best of both worlds there. You could even... You could change it up a bit and put, say, a 4 on and put a, a big chunk of squid or mackerel on the bottom hook with a heavier trace and still keep the small one because your big hook will always attract fish anyway from the smell. So that's the gilt head rig, guys. I've just, I've just tied another rig body. I just wanted to show you what I do sometimes if I'm fishing places where there's like maybe hoss and bream and stuff like that, like mixed species. On the bottom one with your clip, I always put 80 pound trays. It's my shed door opening. <laughs> Get a tied on. And same again, halfway from your rig body. Just so you don't get too much tangles. When you put it halfway like that, it's, you don't you don't barely get tangles. Not unless it's just flapping around in the in the tide or something. If you make them too long, even then it is it's very rare for these to get tangled. And what we're doing with this bottom one, we've got my clip, 80 pound trace, and I put four row hooks, making sure the first hook's pointing the end hook. So basically what you're doing is wrapping around and going through the top of the bait. So I'll just get this tied on. And I've, all, I've had a lot of bonus fish doing this. Where you just throw it out, you get a nibbles from bream and that. Occasionally you'll hook them on the top hook. Ah, just like so. And what you're doing is you put your bait on. And then you bring your second hook down. One, two, three. And then hook it in the top of the bait, and that there, just get the weight again. And that there will lay on the, on the seabed like so. And I've had a lot of bonus fish like that. A hell of a lot of bonus fish. And like I say, you'll have your small hook at the top. You could even put a bigger one, but I always put a smaller one, because this will act like a chum for the bream and stuff like that. The bream will come and hit this. And then a lot of the time you'll pick you'll pick up the good little fish on on the top hook. So that's my version of the flapper rig, guys, or fish finder rig, the big one at the bottom. You you got a good chance of picking up a stray big fish, hoss, bass, anything. You never know. So stay tuned for the next episode. If you like my channel, like, subscribe. There's plenty more to come. It's smash fishing.